guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. You know, um, everything's gone nuts, and the UK doesn't really know, neither does the United States really for that matter, know what to do about all these protests and everything. And we're not going to talk about the protests. That's not why we're here today. But it's one of the new laws that the UK has decided to put forth um, to try to protect you from getting the bug um i'm just gonna start recording because this wow just wow the uk cracks down declares intimacy with individuals from outside your household not legal illegal amid the bug this is from june 1st which is literally like what two days ago i guess and if you're wondering why i haven't put out as many videos quite frankly the news is just a hot mess and i don't feel like trolling through it because it actually makes me very sad. But let's get to the story here. Even as American cities are struggling with whether to release bug-related restrictions altogether, now that most major cities have seen thousand individual protests that in most cases flouted social distancing recommendations and defied shelter-in-place orders, the UK is continuing to crack down on interpersonal contact, or contact hoping to stop the spread of the bug. Now, here's what's crazy. Here in the States... Um, we were told you can't attend church, you can't have gatherings more than 10 people, you cannot reopen businesses in many major cities. And I'm not going to get into the politics of it. It was just you can't have lots of people close together because the spread of the bug. But now the UK is saying you can't even meet up with somebody that's outside of your household for a little bit of the old in and out. According to Yahoo News UK on Monday, a new set of provisions went into effect criminalizing gatherings of two or more people between per or two or more persons of different households effectively declaring intimacy between two people who do not live together illegal that's right the booty call is now illegal at 11:30 a.m. on monday change to the law was introduced that bans two people from different households in england gathering in an indoor private place during the bug the outlet reported adding to the new amendment to the government's health protection bug bill bans any gathering which takes place in a public or private place indoors and consists of two or more persons where there is no reasonable excuse i don't know about you but getting some is kind of a reasonable excuse for some people now let's take a pause here and see how the uk is reacting to the protests on this photo, this is a photo from yesterday or today. I forget when I grabbed it. I think it's from today. This is central London. Now, if you're wondering what you're looking at, it looks kind of like a Petri dish with a lot of bacteria. Those would be protesters. In this photo alone, there are probably, I don't know, eight to 10,000 people. Do you think that uh, they're being um, you know, ticketed or told to go home? No, no, because the riots supersede any of the need to stay away from other people because there's a bigger message to be sent. I'm not talking about the politics. I'm just talking about these are your own rules that you're putting in place, UK, and you're going to ticket people for getting some, but they can apparently throw bricks and steal. That's okay. All right. They uh, say the bill adds no person may, without reasonable excuse, stay overnight any other place than the place when they are living. An exception has not been made for couples who do not live together, meaning that they can spend time together outdoors, but not inside. Because reasons. People who have uh, intimate relations outside can be punished under pre-existing laws. And in um, an out <laughs> outraging public decency and indecent exposure. Previously, the government prohibited all unnecessarily and unreasonable travel, making this change somewhat of a loosening overall. But at the same time, the bill closes a loophole that left only visitors criminally liable for breaking the bug lockdown and their hosts. That loophole caused a number of high-profile issues in recent weeks. Now, this is what's great. This is what's funny, and it shows the hypocrisy of both government and the everybody putting forth these messages. Neil Ferguson, the UK's corona uh, damn. Neil Ferguson's the UK's bug advisor, whose imperial model predicted millions of deaths from the bug if strict restrictions were not put into place, was forced to resign from his position after it was re revealed that he broke his own recommendation lockdown to visit with his married lover. 
per CNN. And last week, one of the Prime Minister Boris Johnson's top advisor caused a nationwide scandal after he admitted to breaking his boss's lockdown to visit family hundreds of miles from his home. So here, here we have the guy that told you, hey, we need to social distance or you might catch the bug and die and might pass it on to others and you have to be responsible. He turns out to have snuck out and hooked up with his married woman, this married woman, his lover. But you just want to get a little something, something. Nope. Many legal experts were left speechless by the new rule. I can't believe I'm about to tweet this, one human rights lawyer posted to social media. From tomorrow, intimacy between two or more people in a private area who do not live in the same household is a gathering between two or more people and is therefore illegal. In a later interview with The Independent, he added the uh, amendment effectively restricted ordinary contact by people in relationships who do not live together. Now, here's the thing. Violators face $125 fine. If the fine's paid within 14 days, it's lowered to $75. So here's the interesting thing. If you do get caught, it's, you know, for you to get a little bit of a a fun time, it's going to cost you about the same as dinner and dates do. But if you do the dinner and the date, which you're not allowed to do, because, well, you can do it if you're sitting outside, but then you go back to her or his place, well, it's going to be a $75 addition. So ironically, ironically, this is a fun way to look at it. You're not paying her to get down You're paying the government for the right to get down with her. That's where we are. This is where we are today on this stuff. Now, here's the thing. The government, and and I'm not going to get too political on this because everybody, you know, my other channels where I talk a little bit about politics and stuff. But here's what's what what they don't understand is average everyday normal people, okay, don't they don't necessarily cohabitate when they date. They, first dates, second dates, Tinder hookups, all this stuff is still going on. And now they're saying because of this, you know, the bug, that they don't want you even leaving the house to have a hookup. Now, you can go on a date as long as it's outdoors. You're okay there. But if you try to go out and get a little something, something, not so much. So, Guys, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, the the policies that they're coming forth with just don't make any sense. They're they're mostly and again, you know, we still have tens of thousands of people that are rioting and looting and getting together. And there's they say this is okay. We we do because I guess it's outdoors, so you can have ten thousand people shoulder to shoulder, and that's okay without masks. Although most, let's face it, most of these people are wearing masks because they don't want to get caught and seen on camera doing something illegal. So maybe masks aren't a problem out public. But even if you even if you say even if you say, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do her, I'm gonna do him, but I promise to wear a mask, that's not good enough because it's indoors. This is your government in action. So you know, I won't get into the politics. I'll just leave it there. Booty calls are now illegal. Welcome to 2020. I don't know what else they can add to this that'll make it any more interesting, but so far, it's been one hell of a rush. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. And as always, if you have, thank you very much. Um, and the best way you can support me, like, comment, share, subscribe. There you go, guys. Booty calls illegal. Welcome to 2020. I'll leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. And remember... Thank <laughs> you.